morning and welcome to our family therapy show we are today we are coming live from white rhino hotel in mombasa and you can see we are all sitting here it's quite hot yeah. but it's going to be lit i have a panel of guests today in my station and we're going to discuss the topic why people cheat in relationship. I know everyone is familiar with that topic. And today we are going to address it. As we told you, this is Family Therapy Show. Keep turned, keep watching. Welcome. And to start on my right hand, I have Mr. Byron. Can you please introduce yourself? So uh, I'm Byron Odiambo, yeah, and I'm glad to be in this show today. My name is Iminza, and I'm glad I'm here. Mm -hmm. My name is Esanjiri Nganga, a student, and I'm glad to be here. I thank you and welcome you all for coming. And we are going to go directly to the discussion of today. And I'm going to pose a question to all of you. Mm -hmm. And I will be asking you, why do people actually cheat in relationships? So I think, personally, I think people cheat because maybe it's not working out. Like it's not working out for you, it's not what you expected. So mm -hmm. you go for looking for another option. Okay, Doris? I think it's it's a personal choice to mm -hmm. cheat. You just wake up and decide I want to cheat. There's nothing like you can say it's a mistake at your I was under some influence of something and then I cheated. It's mm -hmm. because you wanted to cheat, that's why you cheated. Okay. Jerry, what do you think? And for me why people cheat it's maybe because of lust. Mm -hmm. Uh maybe you admire another person's relationship mm -hmm. and you decide to cheat because you want to achieve that person's relationship. So maybe you are uh, like you're benchmarking people, and if yours is not working yeah. the way theirs is working, okay. so you decide to cheat. To cheat, yeah, because and of I think that's bad. So, mm -hmm. talking of that, have you ever been cheated on, and how did you react if anything happened of the sort? Okay, so personally, I would say even if maybe I've been cheated on, then I've not really found out. But personally, so, if I was cheated on, uh -huh. it could be the end of everything. What do you mean by the end of everything? I would take that from, like, it could be just maybe we just the end of part the ways because maybe uh -huh. we are not helping each other out. So it would just be better if we look for other options. Okay. Yeah. It means that. Yeah, I've ever been cheated on and it didn't go out well. Yeah. What did you You know, do? the pain of you have lowered your standard for someone. Sure. And then only for you to find out that the person wasn't worth anything. Mm -hmm. And then worse still, the person is ends up cheating, mm -hmm. like cheating on you. And you had given it to all, you thought, oh, let me give this shot, and then end up being disappointed. Maybe like, really bad. Work, it was such a blow, and it took some time to heal. Like, it was really bad. Okay. Yeah. Jerry, have you ever been cheated on? Yeah. What yeah. Did you do? I, that's, I've been ever been cheated on, like, for two times. Mm -hmm. I really trusted my, my spouse so much. Mm -hmm. I really... I really don't know how much to, I'm going to say because till now when I remember those moments, I really made a lot in our love relationship. I sacrificed a lot for him, but he ended up cheated, cheating me for twice. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first time, I forgave him, knowing that he won't repeat the mistake, but he did. And for now, I don't trust any guy. I just try to trust myself. Oh, yes, I know yeah. it's kind of becoming emotional when people mm -hmm. cheat on you, you're giving much expectation and mm -hmm. then they fail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking of that, what do you think are the causes of the cheating? Because the cheating stuff has become so rampant in our relationships, it's ending marriages, relationships and everything. What do you think are the causes of the cheating? So uh, cheating actually starts with the whole point of like how did it start, like what was the deal, like what did she bring to the table and what did you bring? Mm -hmm. So if it's, it does come to a moment when she can't bring that anymore, mm -hmm. of course I'll look for something else, like somebody to bring the Wouldn't you prefer, that. like you talk first, tell this person you're not doing this and this as we agreed, this is why I might consider you know, another way. Relationships are not just black and white, they're complicated. Mm -hmm. You have a spouse who mm -hmm. maybe you know very well, if we decide to discuss this issue, mm -hmm. it's not going to go down well. Okay. So maybe we, some of us, we don't really face conflicts like head on. We try to avoid conflicts as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So the moment you're going to engage me in this discussion, which is not going to end up well and which is not purposeful, mm -hmm. I would rather just go for a, a peaceful option. Sit on you. And you think that's a good thing? Like oh, It's not a good thing, but it's actually the right thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Doreen, yeah. what do you think causes this cheating? 
I think it's peer pressure. Peer pressure. A lot of men, or oh, okay, or rather women, mm-hmm. we can't just blame it on men cheating. Because Even women cheat. So yeah. We, yeah. So Everyone I think cheats. when you have, okay, so as for men mostly, mm-hmm. it's because they believe that we are mighty and everything, mm-hmm. and then they're not supposed to they be. They can handle several. Yeah, women. and then mm-hmm. cheating is so normalized to them. Like if a man cheats, it's so okay. But if a woman does. But I think this has to do with society maybe i yeah. think it blames a woman so much when yeah. you cheat as a woman mm-hmm. yeah because they claim that if you're a woman and you cheat you become a slut mm-hmm. but for a man you're just showing how strong you are and you how become you become a hero yeah and the way you can take care of your of a lot of women mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. so society has played a major role in that okay. they start the moment they started glorifying Thinking, making people think like having a pango a kind of is so okay mm-hmm. people dating other which is very wrong. It's bad. Yeah. Jerry. As I, I as I already had said, mm-hmm. uh, what causes cheating is maybe uh, lust. Mm-hmm. People wanting to have that their, that couple goals in other and people's that, relationship. And that's maybe. Let me ask. That's can it be brought by dissatisfaction? Maybe. Yeah. People are not satisfied. Yeah. And you can't talk, and then. You end up cheating. But yeah. if you're not satisfied, mm-hmm. why don't you talk to your partner and yes, tell them? Because I think communication can we change? is yeah. key in a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. People mm. should talk. Yeah. yeah, because if you're not satisfied, you mm-hmm. talk to your partner mm-hmm. and you try and adjust. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't help, you try again. And then from there, maybe you just can part ways. If you're not comfortable in a relationship, mm-hmm. don't cheat. Just go. Just yeah. let it go. Yeah. I would like so. to agree with Doreen. You see, in, in today's relationship, mm-hmm. many people, they don't have that much good communication. Mm-hmm. So let's say two couples are dating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, when two couples are dating and let's say one is unsatisfied, let's say sexually, mm-hmm. that, that person won't have the, that energy or courage to tell the other person that you, you are not satisfying me but in bed. But this is your partner. But that's you why you find that another satisfied. person, uh-huh. that person decides to cheat on him, mm-hmm. by, uh, that person decides to, to cheat on him, and he, he or she has, uh, hasn't told the other partner the reason why she or she, mm-hmm. he or she cheated on the other person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that, I think, it would bring about mistrust, because mm-hmm. now, yeah. if you have been cheated on, and yeah. these people, is, uh, this person you is You still having stopping. trust issues. Yeah. And then betrayals and everything yeah. is, going to be a whole process mm-hmm. yeah. i think from there can we we are going to go for a short commercial break and we will be right back don't go any further are you tired of being a tenant are you looking for a house to buy or even rent at maya homes we got you maya homes are located at the outskirts of cbd three kilometers from Modega or forest road maya homes are designed for your comfort the first face and second face are through and fully furnished. Be among the first 50 who will get a 20% discount. For more information, call us on 0713-705-453 or email us at mayahomes.co.ke. Your comfort is our concern. Welcome back and we are going to go on with our discussion and the first question will be what are the effects of cheating now that cheating has been happening and Mm. people are being cheated on and what are the effects of the cheating? So cheating really affects relationships. Or the consequences, yeah. So maybe probably if you've been cheated on you can get depressed and stressed over it. Mm -hmm. I've also seen cases where people have really gone suicidal. Mm -hmm even go to an extent of attempting it or some have been successful with that the cases in the news. Yeah. So cheating is actually it affects people psychologically a lot. Yes, because this is where by people are giving a lot of trust to their spouses yeah, and husband. if you're giving even high expectation on them and you become like you disappointed some of us are not strong. Yeah. I think people are not strong. Mm. Outside people are there. different. Yeah. Before you cheat kindly, <laughs> just take care of the soul of your partner. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you make the right choice. Mm-hmm. And Doreen. Yeah, I think uh, cheating brings about homosexuality. Mm-hmm. If, for example, me, the way I was cheated on, mm-hmm. after I've lowered my standard for that person, sure. It really broke me like completely Mm -hmm. because for once, like I've lowered my standard for you. Mm -hmm. I've chosen to trust you even when I was told you're not the right person and then I still blindly 
went to you. Mm -hmm. So others who are not as strong as I am, they'll end up thinking like all men are the same. Sure, yeah. sure. And the men you think, men are. yeah, or if it's a man, mm -hmm. he's going to say like, all women are the same and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this brings up about emotional torture mm -hmm. and you'll try to find out the way out. And for others, they'll mm -hmm. choose to be homosexual. Sure. Because there's this notion that if you date a woman, mm -hmm. the woman will understand you better. Mm -hmm. Because she's a She has woman. been there. Yeah. She knows what it means to be betrayed. Mm -hmm. She knows what it means to have been loved and used and everything. Yeah. yeah. So that can be one of the causes. If that person is not strong enough to make mm -hmm. those wise decisions, that's how they end up dating such people. Yeah. Jerry, what do you think are the effects of cheating? Uh, personally, for me, the effects of cheating, it really leads to depression. Mm -hmm. As for me, when I was cheated on like two years ago, mm -hmm. I was really depressed. I had no one to talk to. I really, I was just at home. Any, everything just turned upside down because mm -hmm. I was, I was really dedicated to that person because I really loved him. Mm -hmm. But at the end, he decided to disappoint me. Mm -hmm. That led me to being depressed a lot. Mm -hmm. And at some point, I wanted to have to commit suicide mm -hmm. because of my situation, because I really tried in our relationship, trying to make things work out, but mm -hmm. at the end, it never, it never ended well. Mm -hmm. uh, it led me to have the thoughts of committing suicide, but at the end, I got some I got some emotional support from my mother, who mm -hmm. really helped me so much. Mm -hmm. Cheating is really bad. It really leads to suicidal effects. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I know it's bad. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Byron, yeah. do you think that married couples what should they do? Instances of cheating, what should they do when there are instances of cheating? So it, it depends on if if you're cheated on, can you handle it? Mm -hmm. Can you really handle it? If you can't handle it, then mm -hmm. maybe you can talk it over. Mm -hmm. But in some situations, maybe if you've been seated on the kind of guy with trust issues, mm -hmm. you can't trust that person anymore. Mm -hmm. Just better to maybe end the relationship. They divorce. They divorce mm -hmm. if you're at all married, but if you're still maybe in a relationship, mm -hmm. you could just maybe just break up. But I think, you know, when you say you're going to forgive and forgive, you don't forget. And I think this is what is leading people to have bitter hearts and oh, sometimes yeah. you do something small and people are having slaps, blows all over mm -hmm. and some people even end up kidding the, the their person. spouses, yeah, yeah. their children even. It's yeah. really bad. It starts with a small mistake, just cheating. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm calling all of you to be on the lookout. Please don't cheat. And then mm -hmm, if you have been cheated on, do you think like the trusting the spouse again will work for you or what is the advice that you will give people who have been cheated on what's the there so just like i said personally at the start mm -hmm. personally you just have to know yourself mm -hmm. if you know that once you've been cheated on you can never recover from it there is no need to fall it and then end up being depressed and being suicidal mm -hmm. so you, you, she, she or he will do it the first thing mm -hmm. then do it the second or the third and the fourth so it becomes a trend so it becomes kind of a pattern mm -hmm. so if you if you are ready to maybe handle that pattern of depression and stuff mm -hmm. if you don't love yourself enough then mm -hmm you can maybe go ahead and start dating this person. But the best advice mm -hmm. is that if you're sure that they may never really, this has become, this is going to become a cycle of depression mm -hmm. and emotional breakdowns mm -hmm. and recoveries and advices, mm -hmm. just end the relationship. There's always that better person somewhere else. And there's also, you can maybe, just maybe be you, you know. Be you and consider your happiness first. Yeah. Doreen, what's your advice to people who have been cheated on and they're experiencing? I know it's hard, mm -hmm. but you have to talk it out. Mm -hmm. talk out. Maybe we're the ones who lead them to cheat. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing is, know why your partner cheated. Talking of that, people don't did you want to talk out and say this is why I cheated. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. you talk to your partner. Mm -hmm. Know why he or she cheated. Mm -hmm. If it's something that can be solved well and good, mm -hmm. if it's something that you can't really change, mm -hmm. then you're just wasting your time. You're not meant for each other. Mm -hmm. Then it's, it's not compatible. It's yeah, not you two are not compatible. Yeah. You're just facing this issue. So mm -hmm. just go. Just love yourself more. Sure. And don't put yourself in something that is going to debate your 
happiness or your mental health? Sure, yeah. because this is what some of our young girls are doing outside here. Even, even boys, because we are seeing even women kidding their husbands and husbands kidding their, their wives. wives yeah. Because of saying, like, I want to try it. I want to give it a try. Maybe next time it's going to work. Yeah. So if it's not working, you're not Just compatible. Just leave it. Just leave it. Accept that. the reality and mm-hmm. go. Sure, Jerry, what's your say to people who have been cheated on now that you have been cheated on one? Yeah, what I, what I really tell most of the people for those, because I have uh, my own group, mm-hmm. uh, it's called uh, Youth Empowerment. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those people in my in my organization, mm-hmm. I usually focus on those people who have been cheated on. Mm-hmm. And what I, tra- I really try to encourage them is, for you to when when you want to start another relationship you need to have you, you need to take a lot of time for you to think about your next relationship mm-hmm. and when you and when you are in that in that relationship you need to know that person well mm-hmm. you need to know the behaviors of that person mm-hmm. the true colors of that person so that it will at least give you a a step to to know that person let's say if if he or she will try to cheat you in the future, mm-hmm. uh, knowing a person's behavior will really help you. Yeah. Okay, and that was for today. Thank you for coming through. Thank you yeah. for having scheduled time to, yeah. with us. And that was our therapy show for today. Don't go any further. Till next time. Bye-bye. No, no.